is just assuming that everything goes right. When does anything always go right? Hi, welcome back to Doug Sport. In this video, I'm going to be starting to paint some of the body panels we bought for the 100E project. So first up, um, we've got the boot lid that I bought new, uh, fiberglass new, and also the bonnet that I was repairing in the last video. And I want to start getting some paint on those, so I'm not going to paint them once the car is back here. First of all then, I'm going to uh, mask off a couple of bits that need masking off before I paint, and then I'm going to start getting some primer on the inside of both of them. That's a quick first coat of primer on the inside of uh, both the boot and the bonnet. On the bonnet it has identified a couple of areas that I might want to add some more uh, fiberglass to to reinforce them and also um, I, I realise the underside lips need some tidying up still so I will have another go at those. Um, yeah, but so far so good. Let the primer dry overnight then and uh, come out and do a little bit more work on the parts. I've put a quick coat of matte black on the inside of the boot. That looks really nice and like once it's dry it'll come out exactly how I wanted it. Really happy with that. Next job is going to be some more work on the bonnet. I don't want to do anything on that just yet though because I do need to do some more sanding. And I don't want the, the dust from that getting onto my wet boot. And unfortunately I don't have the paint for doing the inside of the bonnet yet. As uh, I'm being told by the wife that's got to match the engine bay and that needs repainting and I haven't bought the paint for either of those things yet so um, that's going to stay in primer for now. Next thing then once the boot has dried is to turn that over, prep the um, outside and get that, start painting that in primer. Also flip the bonnet back over, do the final bits of prep for that and also get that into primer. In terms of work still needed on the bonnet, uh, not sure how well this is coming out on camera but in this area uh, where I put the fiberglass resin to seep into these cracks obviously it's reinforced on the underside but wanted to put some on here to stop them spreading and um, you can see it still just does need well, hopefully you can see there you go it does just need some more finishing there and also just here and um, this section is still lipped and um, so it's gone through there it's just got these little sections so it just won't go down so that needs more attention other areas like that one again that feels like still needs a bit of attention for the most part it's it's getting there um the ones down the front here that i was worried about i think they're going to be okay maybe just another block sand across here this section might need a bit of filler uh, and it needs a bit more filler and sanding on that repair. Generally then, on the bonnet, it just it needs more sanding and maybe a touch more filler. Um, it's probably never going to be perfect, but if I can get it looking reasonable with no obvious big gouges or you know anything once it's all painted up, then I'll probably be reasonably happy with that. So, yeah, 
Not gonna get a chance to do that today, obviously, because I'm letting the boot dry. I am tempted just to chuck a bit of primer over some of these sections and just see how they look with a bit of primer over them. Well, that really quickly went from, um, I might chuck a bit of primer over those patches on the bonnet to I'm gonna prime the whole bonnet to get a best idea of what it's looking like. Uh, so it now looks like this. Now there are some patches where you can still see the filler through the primer, that's just where it needs more primer. Uh, though I'm not sure how well this is coming out on camera, a bit like that one. But overall what that has done is highlighted um, some areas which I couldn't see without the primer on there that need more attention. Um, and also that some areas that I thought needed attention aren't quite as bad as I thought they were. So please I did that. Um, obviously I now need to let both of these things dry before I can do anything more. But really pleased that I did it and um, it's given me something to work on. Now back out here working on the bonnet and boot again. And uh, just giving the boot a quick key up on the top side. Got rid of the obvious bits and now time a bit of primer. Got a couple of coats of primer on top of the boot now. Obviously still wet but looking good so far. I can, I have no idea where the last clip ended off so a quick update then on where things are at. I have been to Halfords and bought a load of more wet and dry. Uh, I've bought the load of wet and dry so that I can re-sand the bonnet. So it's still this area that needs attention. And then also, the boot is ready for colour. So that has a real nice coat of primer on it. So first job then is going to get some colour onto the boot lid and then start sanding the bonnet. Okay, um, I've just put the colour onto the boot lid. Um, it sprays on really weird. It's It's got a much wider dispersal on the nozzle than I'm used to with rattle can. It's somewhere in between what you'd expect for a normal rattle can and for an actual spray gun. It also unfortunately seems to have gone on really orange peely. So try and give you a close up, it's still wet at the moment. So I think you can kind of see that just down in this area where the light's reflecting how it's really, really orange peely. But just gonna have to see how it dries. It does seem to be getting better as it dries. So fingers crossed, um, it's gonna look okay when it's done. So while I let the boot dry, it is back to working on the bonnet and uh, key area of attention is this area of high spot uh, caused by the fiberglass resin that I put on and uh, clearly didn't sand back properly. So that's gonna be the first thing to attack and uh, try and get that knot back level and then gonna be doing that second round of filler and uh, let that dry, get that sand back and then finally, hopefully, get a final coat of primer on the good old bonnet. And I keep on calling it a boot, and a boot that I keep on calling a bonnet. Don't ask me. So that's the bonnet now sanded back and uh, cleaned up, ready for primer again. And so this area over here is my main area of concern. Although I've still got a few different areas of, of different colours, it all feels nice and flat now. Um, got down here where I need to do some filling. Decided to have another go at this corner, which needs a touch more filler. That's going to be okay. But yeah, generally speaking, it's come out kind of as I expected it to after a sun back. So that's all been washed down and just now needs to be allowed to dry before I can do anything else with it. So the next thing for me to do is going to be to have a look at this... Uh, boot lid and see if it needs any more paint or whether it's ready for clear. So not sure if that's going to come out in this camera but it definitely needs another coat of paint. There's just a few areas here where you can still see a little bit of primer through the paint. But generally speaking that's looking all right. Um, it's still got that orange peely look to it which is a shame. Um, Maybe that's something I can wet sand out afterwards. We'll see. For now though, another coat of paint. Okay, that's the second coat of paint then on the boot lid. And um, if anything, it's more orange peely. Hopefully you can see that in that reflection. It did seem to kind of come out as it dried before. It did seem to sort of self-level a bit. Um, I'm kind of hoping that's what's gonna happen this time. Might just need more paint 
on it, but that can just run out. I don't really want to start a second can on there, so we'll see how it dries. Okay, yeah, so as soon as I finished recording that last clip, I decided that last coat must have just gone on too dry because um, it looked like when you put on lacquer too dry. Um, so I'll just put very quickly another coat, thicker coat on top of that and um, it looks only as bad as it did for the first coat. So um, I'll show you. You can see it is orange peely but not as bad as that last one. So that's had sort of two and a half decent coats on it now. So sort of two really decent thick coats um, and one thin coat in the middle. Um, just gotta let that dry now properly and see what it looks like when it's dry and hope it's good enough to clear. Next job then is getting some filler on the bonnet. So got the second lot of filler onto the bonnet. And as you can see, I took the uh, what goes on can be sanded off approach and made sure I got absolutely everything that needs filling fillered. So just letting that dry and uh, when it is, I'll be able to sand it back. So finally finished prepping the bonnet for paint. And this is how it looks. So this is all now sanded back and uh, wiped down so that hopefully once it's dry, I can uh, actually get a proper final coat of primer on there. And then other than any catastrophes that I haven't uh, spotted in terms of the, the finish, um, it'll be on to some colour, lacquer, and ready to go on the car. All sounds so easy when you say it like that. So as for the boot lid, colour's looking like a really nice match for what's already on the car. Unfortunately, I have got a couple of little specks of dust in the colour coat. And the odd little fly. So I think the plan then for that is going to be uh, let it fully dry and then give it a very light wet sand with something like 1500 grit. That's just going to allow me to take out that little bit of orange peel as well as get rid of those little bits that are contaminating the colour coat. Uh, back on another day out here in the garage on the boot and bonnet and uh, just having a look at the boot. Pretty happy actually with the way this paint has dried. Um, if I show you that reflection you can see although there is a bit of orange peeliness in the paint it is nowhere near as bad as it looked like it was going to be and I'm pretty confident that the clear is going to uh, sort that out. So the only issue I've got then is these couple of little bits that I got into the colour coat. So I'm going to uh, just very quickly sun those out and then that will be ready for clear. As for the bonnet, that's now over here and that is uh, now been inside overnight to properly dry out. So as some people mentioned after the last video, I shouldn't really wet sand filler. Um, so hopefully having left it inside overnight, it's gonna be dried out properly enough that uh, I can now get some primer on there. So I think the first job then is gonna be I'm gonna put primer on the bonnet. So did a little bit of wet something on the boot lid. Um, it did make it clear there was a little bit more colour needed in places. So um, not back those little areas of contamination. Last bit of colour gone on. Need to let that dry now and then it'll be ready for clear. The bonnet uh, looks about ready for a second coat of primer. So do that now. Second full coat of primer on the bonnet and uh, that's starting to look pretty good. There are some areas that I'm not happy with but at this stage, I'm just going to go with it because um, yeah, I'm pretty confident this bonnet is probably going to last a, a season or two before I get pissed off with it and change it for a new one anyway. So plan for now then, need to leave both these to dry for a couple of hours and then when I come back out, I'll be able to hopefully put some colour coat onto the bonnet and uh, maybe a uh, first coat of lacquer onto the boot lid. Just put some colour onto the bonnet. Um, I did set up the camera to record it and then someone from work called me and uh, I've got to put it back on. So anyway, here's one in the first coat of paint. So now onto the clear of the boot lid.
So I just want to add, I absolutely hate applying clear coat, especially from a rattle can, because um, it always goes wrong. So let's see if this one goes wrong. I have no idea if that's looking at the right spot. put that on as wet as I dare um, I need to go out and get some fresh air so I put the clear coat on as wet as I dare it's not looking terrible I mean, it's orange peely but the paint went on orange peely like this as well that looks really nice there it's a bit dry there maybe Generally though, I think I'm happy with that. So it's still wet at the moment and I very much need to let it dry, um, see what it looks like. Probably another coat of clear coat, a uh, nice fit coat and see how it goes. Um, bonnet should be good for clear in a minute. So it's a couple of hours later again, and uh, just come out to check on how things have dried. Overall, the boot is looking pretty good. Um, it is orange peely, as you can see there. So I still might give that then another coat of clear coat. Um, I've certainly got plenty of it. I uh, didn't use a full tin when I did that, and I got two more, so I can definitely do more. I'm just really, really nervous about screwing it up, so gonna let that dry some more um, just done some touching up on the bonnet um, so that's looking like that that's gonna be ready for clear once that's dry so I chucked a second coat of lacquer on the boot um, fingers crossed that's going to cure the orange peel uh, put some lacquer now onto the bonnet which is now looking like that it has unfortunately either highlighted or they've just appeared as it's gone on a couple of areas of filler which aren't looking very happy so that is over to do with um, the wet sanding and it didn't dry out properly and now it's causing that or apparently I didn't sand it as well and get as nice smooth finish as I thought I'm kind of hoping it's the second thing rather than the first thing because the second thing just means I'm incompetent. The first thing means there's going to be problems. They both mean I'm incompetent, I suppose. Anyway, um, just brings me back to this bonnet is now like almost definitely going to get replaced. But for now, for this season at least, it's going to do. So that then really is it, I think, for this one. Uh, thank you for watching as always um, if you did enjoy the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you get notifications on when the next videos come out or you know just wait for me to post them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter um, and the various forums that they get shared on.